So, brethren, I exhort you to believe. When you believe, you act. This morning we heard that, this morning we're, John and Peter, they heard about Jesus, and they acted. They ran. They ran as fast as they could to go see Jesus. They get, Peter jumped out of the boat to go see Jesus. It, that's what believing does. It makes you act on it. It makes you, uh, whatever God says you believe. You, you see that he is right in all his way. He's perfect. That whatever God says, <clears throat> maybe you might not see it clearly, but as you believe it, as you act on it, as you run to Christ, you will see it. And it'll be clear to you. It'll be, it'll, I, it'll be like, why didn't I see that before? This is so clear. I, yeah. But it's because, it's because it was clear, but without Christ, you cannot see it. Right. He's the one that makes, he, he opens the, the window. It's like when you're looking outside and the window's all dirty. And there's a, there's a, a car outside, but you, the, the window's so dirty, you can't even see it. You, you look at, I see there's something out there, and somebody comes around and cleans the window, and you say, well, that was a car out there the whole time. There's a, there's a whole, the whole time, it's clear, it's right there. That's where Christ opens things up to us and shows us the, the things of the Lord. He brings us to the Father and opens it up to us so we can see it clearly. So God, he's making a people for himself, a people that uh, he could dwell in. See, this, the point is not this world. The point is not the people. The point is God making a people for himself. And this was, this was really, uh, I was thankful for this word that Brother Given gave that he used, he, he, um, with Israel, he was making up a people just so Christ could come out of it. That was so, I mean, I, well, it's obvious now when I look at it when Brother Given brought it up, but uh, that was really enlightening to me. I thought, yeah, that, he's, he, this whole thing is set up so that for Christ, so that now, because of Christ, we can come to the Father. And that the Father, he's the point. And anybody that comes along, you're, whether it be Pharaoh or Rome, they're all serving his purpose. That's the only reason they're there. If it's, if it's Rome to protect Paul with guards, he'll, he'll do that. God will set up a whole, a whole people, a whole group of people just for his purpose to be done. And he'll use them whether they know it or not. He'll, he'll establish them. He'll strengthen them and he'll use them. This country that we live in has been established for God's purpose. And when he's done, that's it. It'll, be, it'll come to an end. All kingdoms will come to an end because God's the point. It's not the, it's not the people that's the point. It's God who is the point. So that, that's, my, that's what I encourage you to do is believe that you may see God through Christ Jesus. He brought out, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. See, in Christ Jesus, he makes our thoughts his thoughts. He makes our ways his ways. That's because of Christ. Without Christ, we cannot be like God. Without Christ, we cannot be with God. There's no, there's no, there's no possibility. That's why Christ, we run to him. That's why those who, who believe and see they drop everything, whether it be uh, in, were being raised up in Egypt, just like Moses. Why did he drop everything? Why did he? Because he saw that God is perfect in all his ways. He believed. He believed God, and he was able to drop everything. At that time, Egypt looked like it could never go anywhere. It was like a great oak in the, in the world that it was just not going to be moved. A mountain that could not be moved. 
And when God came along, he was done with Egypt. Egypt served its purpose. Overnight, gone. Just like that. So we deny ourselves and we believe God. Brother Gene brought out God has his appointments. Jesus said, I pray for them also which shall believe on me, thou thy word, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So Christ is the point. John 17, 20 through 21. So we, that's what I exhort you to do, brother. Believe and look to Christ. And, the, and everything will be opened up. See, the world is, just, is a distraction if it takes you away from Christ. The world's being used for God's purpose. And we could be used in the world. But without Christ, you're not going to see what God is doing. So I exhort you, brethren, to believe. Now I open up for any comments, brother.